good YouTube, it's your boy Legendary EA, and we are back here for another episode of the New York Knicks My League Series, Realistic My League Series. I really hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Let me know y'all's favorite part so far in the comment section below. We played about three or four games so far this season. Um, I'm not sure about which matchups I actually want to show next. Um, I want to do somebody that we haven't played. Maybe the Atlanta Hawks. Maybe this game versus the Atlanta Hawks. I mean, it's Trey Young to Dante Murray. That might be the one that I'm trying to play, to be honest. Like, that might be a really, really good one. Because other than that, I don't really want to show that many more games this season. We showed about three or four. So, that, that's pretty solid. Uh, in this episode, I do want to take on the LA Lakers. Obviously, we, we, we made that trade with them earlier this season. We haven't played them since. Uh, so, I do want to go ahead and do that. Obviously, we gave them DSJ, who's been killing it, and Mitchell Robinson. Uh, but regardless, so far this season, we are 32 and 17. Team has actually been killing it. We're ranked seventh in, in, in the power rankings. Number one, tied for number one with Brooklyn, who we, we, who we battled against and beat them in the last one. Uh, 32 and 17, man. Team has been killing it. As far as the stats go, RJ Barrett's points per game have gone down to 19.3. Lamellas has gone up, and Kuzma has taken over that thing. Now he's getting comfortable. Uh, we got 70% team chemistry. I, mean, I think that this is going to be fun. Obviously, the lineup has been getting a lot better. People have been developing. We've been simming a hell of a lot of games. I'm still considering what people said. People said that we should just have it to where Knox comes off of the bench and then Julius Randle starts. And, I mean, that would give us a go-to score off the bench. That would definitely give us a go-to score. I really got to consider that. All right, but as far as the awards go, because they are up right now, Towns is number one for the MVP. The Timberwolves, what's the Timberwolves record? I think that they got a pretty solid record, actually. Yeah, they're the fourth seed. So right now, Towns is number one for the MVP. LaMelo is number one for Rookie of the Year. Julius Reyna was in the running for sixth man. He kind of fell off a, a little bit. Uh, Giannis right there. Kuzma is second for most improved player. I would like to actually see those things happen in... We can actually also for participants. We don't have one other than Drummond. I think Drummond made it. Yeah, he actually went ahead and he made it. And he's actually going to be getting some tick. He's getting more tick than Boog. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about all that in the comment section below. Like I said, like up this video, man. Like up this video. Um, we don't have a top draft pick. So we're looking really, really good for the future of this team, if you guys ask me. Uh, the trade deadline is coming up. I did mention I don't want to make any more trades. I'm good on the trades. I like this team. And it's realistic. No one's taking some some of these guys' contracts, and I don't even want to move it. I mean, we got 70 team chemistry. I'm going to keep that because right now we're tied for the number one seed. Why would I mess that up? And the Eastern Conference is bad. Like, I, I can't even lie. Like, the only good team here is the Sixers. The rest of these teams ain't that good. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're, we're going to see what we can do against the Lakers. The Lakers, what's their record? The 37 and 14. So they got a better record than us. They're killing it. Everyone on this team is killing it. DSJ, he's, he's averaging more points there in general. LeBron in 80-25. Then the DSJ is a, is a third leading scorer. Mitch Robinson is down here, but he's very productive. What's his plus minus looking like? I know plus minus isn't the best, but it's 6.5. He has one of the highest plus minuses on the team. He has the fourth highest plus minus. And then DSJ right there. I like this, man. I like this a lot, but... Let me know, man. I, I, I'm considering I'm considering bringing Knox off the bench as a sixth man. That's a go-to score. But I do like this guy right here. I can't even say his last name. Brazdikis? I, I know I butchered that. But I'm considering making that move. I really am. I seriously am. I don't know. I don't know because that, that would give us a, a go-to score, but then we don't got a center. Right now, our backup center is pretty much Julius Randle. So I guess I'll leave it how it is. He's playing 27 minutes, so he's pretty much getting close to starting minutes. But let's get into this game versus the LA Lakers. We're playing at we always get the home games, bro. And I like rocking with the throwbacks because I see these regular unis all the time, bro. The only thing with the Knicks is that all their all their throwbacks is pretty much the exact same uniform. It's pretty ooh. I might as rock those to be real with you. At least it's a little different, but everything else. It's the same uniform. They just changed it up a little bit. We can just rock the ones uh, from, yeah, let's just rock those. And I'll get y'all to rock some, some unis as well. Yo, you guys want to rock those so bad. I, 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 I know y'all do. Let's get straight into this gameplay. 
The lineup is DSJ, KCP, LeBron, AD, into bonus. We got LaMelo, Barrett, Knox, Kuzma, and Drummond. Let's see if we can go ahead and get this dub. Let's get your New York Knicks starting lineup. Starting at small four. At six foot nine inches. Number 20. Kevin Knox. Starting at shooting guard. Six feet seven inches. Number nine. RJ Barrett. The other guard. Six feet seven inches. Number one. Ball. The other four. At six foot nine inches. Number eleven. At the center position. Hello, everyone. Proud to bring you Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And a chance to take a look at some numbers for LeBron. And, guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play a smarter game tonight. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Dennis Smith is out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's Sabonis in at the center position. And for the Knicks, Barrett and Knox are the wingmen. Andre Drummond is out there with Kyle Kuzma, and it's Ball in at the point guard position. Players getting a rest, Clark, with the all-star break coming up. That's important, too. And broadcasters, too, Clark. I know you and I <laughs> like a little time away to spend with our families. Nothing like relaxing. And All right, we're getting straight into the gameplay. If you guys didn't even peep that right there, they have our home court advantage as a B minus, which is a pretty good improvement, I believe. <laughs> at, at the beginning of the season, it was like an F or a D. So it looks like we've been doing a lot better. Obviously, we are a way higher C than we were before. Going for the screen. All right, we're, we're kind of getting trapped. We're going to pull a three with Kevin Knox right there. Yeah, that ain't it. Now, this Lakers team is better than any team that we played before. They're probably going to win the championship this year. And like I said before, the only reason why we're showing this is because of that trade that we made earlier on in the season with them. And I still think that, that was a great trade. I know that a lot of people did as well, but yeah, that, that was a pretty solid trade on both sides. I mean, we got Kuzma. Um, they got Mitch Robinson and they got DSJ as he knocks down a three. All right, and Lamelo's eye. So, I mean... On their side, they're doing very, very well with the trade, and I like our addition of getting Kuzma as well. I mean, he adds us another score. But, yeah, just let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Should Kuzma go and start for us at the three, and then we just bring Kevin Knox off the bench for the, for, for the rest of the season and the playoffs? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below because I'll consider doing it, man. Oh, nice frequent play from R.J. Barrett. But, yeah, that, that's a pretty good thing that – might be able to happen for us. I mean, at small forward, Kuzma goes up a lot, and he's honestly better. At power forward, sometimes you can see him getting bullied a little bit. Uh, the one good thing about keeping him in a certain lineup is the athleticism and the shooting that it brings us. But, I mean, we, we got to be honest. Right now, Julius Randle is better than Kevin Knox. Uh, so, if we do run Kuz at small forward, and then we put in Randle, that gives us a score off the bench, as well as just a better defender at the four position anyways. So let me know what you guys think about that as Barrett takes off for some flight. Right now, we're actually doing really, really good. Really, really good against the Lakers. I mean, we're playing to our strengths. And I ain't going to lie, RJ Barrett bowls out this game. Right now, we're up 5 points, 27 to 22. They got Goran Dragic. Goran's pretty nice. I can't lie. I mean, that's a really nice backup point guard to have. Come on. If we can just clamp up, stop giving them open shots. DSJ is this is cooking us. Like, we, we really can't stop him right now. We're only up by one point. Trier, let's see what Trier got. Pass it off. Nah, that ain't open. Let's just pull it with Kuz. Easy money. He struggled a lot in this game. <laughs> it is kind of the games that we need him to play good. I mean, this is the team that, that just traded you, dog. We kind of need you to ball out. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on. Just don't give them any open threes, and we should be all right to go. Step up. Solid defense. Solid defense. DSJ is just... All right, good. He missed it because he's just yanking them things. All right, let's hit up our boy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to mess up his name again. I'm not going to try. He does not get the three. He's just a sharp shooter for us. That's why I decided to keep him. I mean, the, the Lakers wanted him in that trade, I believe, and I was like, nah. He man was killing it in the summer league in real life. I was not going to just let him, you know, dip like that. Plus, they already got so many good assets in that trade. Like, if you think about it, we didn't really get a lot. I mean, all we, had to, all we did was, like, get Kuzma 
you know, we, we, we got him to pay him, <laughs> pretty much. We got him to pay him. They got Mitchell Robinson. They got DSJ. They got to pay DSJ. But Mitch, it ain't going to take a lot of money. Um, They got a lot of good solid pieces on their team. We got some old veterans. Like one draft pick in Coos. And a player that we put in the G League to, like, stash. So, I mean, that's all that we really got. All right, let's get back into the game. We're up by four points. Come on. Lamelo. I need you to step up, bro. Because having two points is not going to cut it, my guy. <laughs> it's really just not going to. Come on. How, how can we stop that? Like, really? <laughs> really? All right, let's get right back on to it. Lamelo got two and four, man. He showed a lot in this game. I'm not going to lie. At the beginning of it, it wasn't looking good. Like, DSJ was cooking him. Like, DSJ was pretty much saying, like, you guys replace me with him? <laughs> but as we know, one's potential is so much higher. And he's about to win rookie of the year. I mean, he's killing it. The team is killing it. The, the team is blowing. So a few bad games here and there. I'm not really tripping off of that. I don't expect this to really go far in the playoffs. Like I said, I see us being around like the sixth. Fifth seed, maybe. Maybe a little bit higher. He's Kevin Knox stepping up for the mid range shot. Maybe winning the first round. I don't see us going to the conference finals or anything. Maybe next season or the year after that, once these guys get some development on them. Look at RJ Barry, man. He got 24 points already as he throws a oop to Andre Drummond. And he's been the facilitator for this team as well. But 24 already? 24 three assists already. That's legit insane. <laughs> like, that's legit insane. He's on pace for a 40-point game. And the only reason why is because his his mismatch, it's him versus KCP. He's always running in transition. LaMelo's hitting him with the baseball pass as DSJ knocks in another three right there. We hit him with a baseball pass. He gets an easy layup or a contested shot. Right now, we're coming right back. Let's see what Barrett got for us. Let's pass it off. We're just playing hot potato with the ball right now. All right, Kevin Knox is going to be playing. Let's get off to LaMelo. And you know what? He'll give it right back to DSJ. Another three right in his eye as well. But yeah, man, I like it. That's pretty much how Bear gets most of, his, most of his points. I mean, it's off of transition. He's always open for transition as Quinn Cook not on his three as well. But Miz is always open in transition. And we will abuse that every single time because it's him versus KCP. I like that match more than anything else. Bear got 24 and three and a half. AD got eight, seven, and five. He got five assists. And we're shooting 60% from the, from the field. They're shooting 48%. We're up 76 to 66. But yeah, I like his matchup. Uh, the athleticism matchup between LaMelo and DSJ goes in DSJ's favor. RJ is going to kill KKCP. LeBron's going to kill Kuzma. AD, uh, yeah, Bron, Bron's going to kill Knox. AD is going to kill Kuz. And then at center, Drummond against Robinson or Sabonis. I'm still going to take Drummond. But if you don't know, like, those are a lot of guys that can get buckets on their team. So we got to abuse our one mismatch. And we do it a lot. See, we do it a lot. We literally get an easy dunk and one. Like, we're going to abuse that until it stops working. <laughs> so if you guys see me get get the ball with Melo and just instantly throw it to Barrett, that's why, bro. I, I don't like and I, I can't lie, that is why whenever I play, LaMelo gets so many assists. He gets like 14, 13, 12, 15. We're going to use that outlook pass every single time. Somebody's always running in transition. We're going to abuse that. Like, we have to. Barrett already got 30. Oh, he wanted another dunk, but he got blocked right there. All right, let's stop Drogic, though. Style. Nice midi. All right, I can respect that. I can respect that. Don't leave that man, Kors Munkus, or whatever, <laughs> open. Like, that's not good. And they caught right back up with this, man. Game is tied at my 9-99. Hit up Randall for Drummond. Almost takes down the entire rim on them boys. Yeah, but they caught up. Now, obviously, in these games, I, I do sim every once in a while. Come on, y'all. Thank you. We're up by two. Pass it off. Like I said, we, we run. I didn't know that that was in Julius Randle's package, but I'm going to go ahead and take that. Like, that seems like a big can't get that far back. But, hey, bro, as long as we win in, I'm cool. And we're actually starting to take off. I did hop in a sim cast, of course. Drummond is wide open. Easy assist. He got 22 and 14. He gets so many boards, and that's just not in the game. That's in real life as well. He's probably the best rebounder in the NBA right right now. I don't think it's the question. And, and Lamelo's playing great as well. Barry got 34. LaMelo's bowling out. He's starting to catch fire in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter a little bit. Let's see what we got. Right off to Barry. I'm telling you, we're going to use that. He, he, he can't hold him. 
If you can't hold him, we're going to use it. And we end up walking away with the dub. 144 to 131. I was a high-scoring game. We run at such a fast pace. Like, our pace is ridiculous in this game. Regardless, we walk out of here with the dub. It was very, very close. They could have beaten us, but those last, like, three to four minutes, it was it was all us. Like, Lamelo was cooking. Barrow was cooking. He finished up with 40 points, five rebounds, the same three assists from the first half. Uh, 14 of 26 shooting. Kuzma with 24 points. Really efficient, 9 of 15, 50% from the three. Bear it was also 50% 50, 50, uh, 50 from the three. Drummond with 23, 22. 22 boards, six blocks. Yes, the bonus. Nothing was going in, huh? Lamelo with 22, it's 17 assists. He shot poorly, especially in that first half. Kevin Knox with 14. Julius Randle with eight and eight. Quinn Cook with seven. All right, that's, that really wraps up our team. As far as their team goes, let's, let's check them out. Let's check out the Lakers and what they got going on over there. DSJ, the leading scorer with 23 points, 7 assists. He actually played really good. Um, he, he was efficient, 50% from the three. LeBron with 23 points. He kind of got clamped, but still 50% from the field. Missed all them threes. AD. AD, if, if AD played better, they win. 19 and 15. Good, solid numbers. 8 assists, but 9 of 22 from the field. That hurt them a lot. KCP. Solid. Drogic was really solid. All their point guards were doing really, really good. It's a bonus right there. Uh, Mitch Robinson has yeah, 0.16 rebounds. That's all he did. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this video and which matchup we should actually be showing next. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.